When you're making a kite, you definitely would like to have all of your paper, glue, scissors, etc. on the table instead of the shelf, so that when you need something, you can pick it easily from the table instead of opening the shelf and getting it from there. This is an example of how cache memory works. When your computer or smartphone processor works, it constantly needs some data. Now the hard drive or SSD or even the RAM is not able to gain that much data speed that the processor needs to run fluently. So, a very high speed but low capacity memory is placed inside the processor to supply data to the processor. This high speed memory is called the cache memory. The capacity of cache memory is very low, only a few kilobytes to a few megabytes in higher end processors. Now you might be thinking if it's very high speed, then why can't we increase the capacity? Well, that's because it's very expensive, and most of the general consumers won't be able to buy their processors with higher cache memory. There are usually three levels of cache memory, L1, L2, and L3 cache. The L1 or level 1 cache is the memory closest to the CPU core. Actually, it's inside the core. All of the processors nowadays have multiple cores, and they have an L1 cache inside each of their cores. It is the fastest memory available in a computer. It is usually split in two ways, instruction cache and data cache. The instruction cache deals with the information about the operation that the processor has to perform, while the data cache holds the data on which the operation is to be performed. The L2 or level 2 cache is slower than the L1 cache, but it's larger in size. When the processor doesn't find any specific data in the L1 cache, it goes for the L2 cache. The L3 or level 3 cache is the slowest memory in a computer processor. When the processor doesn't find the data in the L2 cache, it searches the data in the L3 cache. And if the data is still not found, it goes for the system memory. This is known as a cache miss. The time needed to get the data from the memory is called latency. Latency decreases with the increase of speed, being lowest in L1 to highest in L3.